we get into this video, I want to thank my supporters on Patreon and Discord. Without you, I wouldn't be able to make content like this and bring it to you. Everyone you see here has helped in some way. It just goes to show that my name may be on the channel, but it's more of a community project and I couldn't do it without their support. Special shout out to those at the highest tiers, including Katie Rose, Mikey, and Philip Hall 1987. If you would like to support me, you will find the links to Patreon and Discord in the description below. There you can find everything from chances to play multiplayer games with me to early access to videos. There are also some freebies too. Thanks again and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to that episode of Jamie Plays with me Jamie. Today we're taking another look at Star Trek New Civilizations. We are playing as the Federation. And yeah, it's been a very interesting game so far. So I've been kind of comparing it with um, Star Trek New Horizons, which is another Star Trek mod for um, the base game Stellaris. And there are definitely a lot of similarities, um, as well as some very kind of obvious differences. So as I've kind of mentioned before, they did kind of start as the same mod and then split into two separate ones. So for example, some of the commonalities we've seen, things like some of the events, like um, in the last episode, we saw the um, augmented realities um, event. That's very similar between the two. Um, things like, for example, the Zindi um, event is mostly similar between the two, although New Horizons has altered that in recent updates um, to different degrees, to varying degrees. Um, yeah, so we are going to continue playing. Um, I think, yeah, it's been very interesting for me so far. It's kind of like meeting an old friend after a long time, I think. There are certain things that you go, oh yeah, I'm very familiar with that. And there are other things, for example, like the planetary screen, where it's like, oh, okay, I have to get used to this again. Because, for example, um, New Civilizations is a little bit more like the base game where you have, for example, 12 buildings. Well, really 11 buildings because the Planetary Administration building is always there. Um, you always need that. Um, so you really have kind of 11 buildings, um, which gives some sometimes give jobs. But really your jobs come from the districts as well, which is I find very interesting because, of course, in New Horizons, it's more like the way Stellaris used to be, where there are a lot more buildings and there are a lot fewer um, and for example, districts didn't give you any kind of um, jobs in New Horizons or in Stellaris as it was quite a while ago. Um, so that's and I haven't played the base game in a while. So I think that's been very, very interesting. It looks like Star Trek New Civilizations is kind of more ship focused. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but it, there seem to be quite a lot of ships that are available, um, more so than New Horizons, whereas New Horizons is a little bit more, um, I think they've so far from what i've seen they've added in um, a lot more events the, since that time um so again it's going to be interesting to kind of continue this playthrough and see but that's kind of been my thoughts so far so let's unpause and increase the speed of the game so we are still losing consumer goods and we're still losing energy so i think i'm going to try let's look at the planets oh this one for example needs jobs so i think what we're going to do is we're going to put two more energy districts there so that's what they will go for next um, civilian industries, that's great, but we're also going to go for two energy districts. Oh, interesting, there's an encounter in Britain. Um, so, let's send an envoy there. And see who you are. I think all of my fleet should be moving around. Yes, you are. I think I'm also going to get rid of this um, construction ship. I don't think we need three of them. And it's just kind of taking up... Um, energy what i will do though is build mining stations oh and there's the research station as well let's do both of those let's go like that and like that this construction ship you're doing mining stations and then you're going to try and take this star base i think however the antarians are going to get there first from judging from the look of their ships construction ship upgraded. sitting there they will get there first well that's all right um so oh there's another encounter in shilling we'll definitely have a look see who that is as well once we've done the one in britain so thank you to all of these oh the breen that's who we're gonna meet we're gonna meet the breen and the tholians so first contact uh, let's say oh this is fascinating fleet order instruction ship you stopped oh yes that's because that's no longer viable I think actually what I'm going to do, let's get rid of this construction ship as well, because we don't need another one up there. This will be the last one. We will then have kind of this trading station. 
Um, and I'm going to have a look at this more in this episode, I think. So let's say new research, because we literally just researched it. Um, let's go for the housing district, terraforming planet, terraforming planetary warming allows us to warm planets during terraforming. Could be interesting. It's not something that I think I need at the moment. Uh, alpine inactive methane or methane. Um, adaptable planet. Well, maybe we will need it eventually, but I'm still going to go for something else. And I think let's go for the increased diplomatic weight. So what I will also do once I finish, um, well, actually when I get the new traditions, because I should get a new tree within 34 months, I think I'm going to try and go for the diplomatic stuff. Oh, Briar Patch. There's a new one here. This is probably going to be the Sanar Command. Orion's, you are still suspicious but improving. Dinti, you are wary but still improving, I think. New research. Um, let's go for the... Let's go for the refit again, or for another refit, I should say. And we are, yeah, still trying to meet the Breen. So, once you do that, let's have a look at this trading station. Um, facilitate the flow of civilian Income commerce within a system. They can stack, stock a limited supply of trade goods and independent vessels, which can be purchased with Latinum. That's interesting. It sounds like this isn't a one-time thing either. Could be good. Um, so, defensive pact from the Interran worlds. Yes, absolutely. Um, and let's go for the... Um, hmm. Traffic control. The blight speed increase. You know what? That could be good. Go for that. I think something else we should start doing is... Uh, oh, hold on. We need to get our consumer goods up first, or we need to purchase them. Oop, on screen. We've met the Breen, and we're going to say we're delighted to meet them. And then Research let's meet complete. you, whoever you happen to be. Establish embassy from the Breen. Yes, we will do that. And let's also... Oh, we have the refit. Perfect. Let's now go for the Mercury Class Destroyer refit, uh, especially as that's only seven months. Research complete. Um, no need to upgrade anything, which is good. Ooh, lots of research. Additional edicts campaigns. Let's take a look at that. I think that will be interesting. Oh, fascinating. Oh, who's claiming Orion? The Orions are claiming things. We might have to uh, teach them a little bit of a lesson soon. Oh, a worthwhile initiative for the shipboard activities. So what you're going to do is research that and then continue on your automatic surveying. Special project. Oh, it was a wonderful performance. Perfect. We have 300 uh, unity increase. Was five percent anomaly discovery chance and one hundred experience. Beautiful. So let's find somewhere Special with a trade. Complete. Uh, oh, begin survey of the Delta Volanus cluster. Perfect. That's there, and it's gone from the look of it. Complete. And the governor has died. Okay, so it looks like we still need to. I mean, I haven't created a sector yet. So why don't we go to Earth and say create sector. We're going to uh, recruit a new governor, and our new governor is going to be good at administrative capacity from bureaucrats, trade value crime, doctor production. Let's go for doctor production, even though it's the oldest one, simply because that will, of course, help that sector. Uh, but it basically is everything we control at the moment, which is perfect. That's absolutely fine. Research complete. So. Let's go for more research. Let's go mining subsidies and the purification plants, fence stations. Let's go for the alloy increase for right now. Thank you, thank you. And we'll just have to keep trying. Oh, and traffic control is now finished. Let's go for the structural integrity fields and the field generator. Research center. Now let's go for the phaser bolt and turret mark two. Oh, you are in your own sector over here. Okay, that's good to know. Hostile fleet is there. Oh, you should be at an evasive stance anyway. Research complete. So, 
Let's go for new research. Oh, Columbia refit. Yes, let's definitely do that because we definitely have NX class vessels. You're also suspicious. Yeah, so traditions. Let's definitely go for diplomacy now because that is who we are. Diplomatic influence cost reduced by 50 and gives us diplomatic grants as well. Great. If we look here, edict institutions. Oh, we don't have an edict going on at the moment. Um, we could go for diplomatic envoys, diplomatic wait. Oh, that would help us with our um, energy. Research subsidies, festivals, edict capacity. So this acts more like the base game as well. I think that they take up edict capacity. So we need to decide kind of what do we want rather than in Star Trek New Horizons where we can go for several and it's only kind of the special ones that will take up that slot. Land of Opportunity, nope. The nice thing though is these will last until cancelled. Very nice. Recruitment drive, nope. Um, diplomatic grants? Oh, I'm tempted. Although, energy. No, available envoys. We need that kind of... Yeah, that does take up one. We need envoys as our... As a diplomatic empire anyway. So, excellent. We gain three insight into the Tholians. So, what can we do with this so we're we're on uh, what are we doing orions and the zinti you know what it might not be a bad idea to improve the romulans minus 284 oh actually no improve the klingons that would be easier we have no spies or we're not don't have any envoys used for spies either oh on screen we met the tholians has established communications perfect so the question is, did I have one more? Yes, I did. The Teth Aliens. Oh, which is going to be the Sonar Command. Yep, that's right. So let's send you there. Oh, commercial pact from the Benzarians. Yes, I'll go for that. Um, no close borders from the Tholians. That's expected. Great. Oh, and we're now positive for consumer goods as well. Migration treaty from the Benzarians. Yes, let's agree to that. In fact, I would like to... Yeah. We need more diplomacy. So, um... We can go for more research. Ooh! Subspace relay megastructure. Let's try that. Speaking of the megastructures, let's figure out somewhere where we would not build a starbase. I think it would be a bit difficult, I think, because all of the ones with trade value at the moment have this starbase. Or have a starbase. Though I'm not honestly sure what I would do. Oh, you here. You need. We need jobs here on Earth. So let's definitely go for another generator district. That will give us two jobs. Let's actually go for two of those. Oh, and we need amenities, don't we? We do need amenities. So let's actually go for one of each. Actually, and I'll still go for that extra generator district as well. Okay, we've been elected. Oh, great, we gain more unity as well. So we need a new scientist. No one is good for um, society research. Military theory, statecraft, but it's blue. Well, you know what, let's go for that anyway. And, oh, fascinating. We're that one step closer. You know what, now we're making... Positive. Now we're in the positives for consumer goods. Let's buy some extra. We'll also sell off some of our extra other stuff. Research like complete. that. Oh, research complete. Great. Uh, I think we'll need to do upgrades now. Let's go now for the sensor component cost and upkeep and all of that. Reduction and two insight to the Tholians. Great. Um... Oh, didn't we have NX class? Oh, you know what? I might not have built any NX class vessels. You know what? I haven't built any yet. Technology of counted a Tholian assembly uses Tetrion weapons. Research Maybe able to complete. develop ourselves. Nice. Their trust is most welcome for whoever. Wait, aren't you supposed to be the Sonar Command? I thought so. Anyway, focusing here, let's go for the. Secondary computer core. That will, of course, be very helpful. 
Let's give System you an upgrade. Complete. Let's give you the upgrade. Vulcans cannot upgrade. So, engineering research. We need a new engineer, and we don't have one. We also don't have anything here. So let's go. just go for the youngest one, who is 32. Yeah, perfect. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Oh, and the Tholians. Oh no, sorry, the um, Oh, Akamarian sovereignty in the Briar patch. Very interesting. Oh no no, I just met them in the Briar patch. Sorry, my mistake. They're over there. Um, we do want an embassy with you and new research. Let's go for the Oh, next level warp drive. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go for the next level warp drive. Ships ah, you know what? We can build that trade station, going back to our megastructure. We can build that here, because we're unlikely to colonize that anytime soon. So what we can do is that... Do we have to build it... Constructed around with the trade... And facilitate the flow of civilian commerce within a system. They can stock a limited supply of trade goods and independent vessels which can purchase with latinum. Let's try... Oh, you know what? No, let's go... Let's go there and build it there, because that's where our highest trade... Actually, maybe... Eh, changing again, third time's the charm. Let's go here, simply because it's the closest to the um, um, the station there as well. Because, for example, the reason I didn't choose anywhere else... Oh, interesting. The reason I didn't choose anywhere else is because, for example, we will get colonies here, and most likely I will build star bases there once I have the capacity to do so. Zinti Patriarchy wants mutual embassies. That's good. They're receptive. Let's you know, let's go for all of this stuff. Because maybe they will eventually want an alliance, and then we can get them into the Federation. That would System be nice. Survey complete. Which it will also be interesting to see how that works. Ooh, Delta Volonis Cluster. Turn to the edge of the Delta Volonis Cluster following completion of its survey mission. Detected reports of a what capable species in that system. Um, they did not establish contact during its mission. A dedicated diplomatic mission should be able to establish formal relations. Let's prepare for first contact. Oh, interesting. Oh yes, yeah, so we can now meet them. So, if I go down here, this is you, let's send you there. And you here, let's automatically survey. Ooh, that's, that's surprising. I didn't realize that was so long of a connection. So, understood. We've been intercepted by a cruiser originating in the system. Channels open to the alien vessels. Your people are new to us. Welcome to the Trill. Ooh. Plague on Pajem. So, you know what? Uh, this one, you they understood. You're going to go there. And then afterwards, we will upgrade and go for automatic surveying. Because it's... We definitely don't want to lose anyone to the plague if we can... Uh, avoid that. Here, let's go for the energy credits, because, you know, that's important. We're losing those. Oh, excellent. We have met has established communications. Trill. Where are the Trill? Oh, no, we haven't actually met them yet. Yeah, okay. Haven't met them yet. We don't know where they are yet. It's interesting then, and Taran worlds have really kind of spread up here. Research complete. Oh, more research. All done. Regenerative shields, absolutely, because it's... Um, I think I'm going to go for food, just because I see we're only at plus one now. So let's go for the food. I assume we'll get research in order to increase the amount of um, um, edicts and things we can have active research at one complete. time. At the moment, we're at one of one. At Federation Council, Starfleet Historical Iconography and Design Bureau. Review uniform options. Let's show the Starfleet uniforms. Oh, we are currently already there. So let's, you know what, let's close the channel. Let's see what else we can do. Federation Council. Ah, I wonder how often we can do this. That would be very interesting. Um, historical Society. Um, show frigates. Retire the Emmet frigate. Ah, do we have to manually retire them? 
know what, maybe we do. Which is, again, not necessarily a bad thing, actually. But we're going to say goodbye for now. New research. Let's go for the... Um... Components? Yeah, let's go for the component reduction, because it's only three months. It's a cheap uh, option. We need two agricultural districts. So you know what? I think on Earth... Earth? No, not on Earth. Go here. Nope. I don't see... Oh, what does that say? Minerals increase. Gem is... Unity production increase. So we currently have none that do food, but there are lots of districts here. So let's go like that for the agricultural districts. That way we'll at least have two built. We could build another... Oh, understood. Thanks for the physics research. Embassy complex. Oh yes, we definitely want this. Food synthesizer, luxury residences... Um, no, we definitely want an embassy complex because we are on Earth. This is the capital of the Federation. Here, let's go... Um, crime reduction? Alien Zoo? Go for the Alien Zoo. Why not? And here, let's... Ooh, Battlecruiser. Cardenas class. That looks beautiful. You know what? Let's do that. You're fine. I think everyone has some jobs you don't let's on in the monastery let's add another monastery district because that's kind of unique for pajem is very nice diplomatic insult from the tholians that's okay we don't actually border you anyway Oop, tholian imposter so members of the starfleet intelligence operating at uh, Kajupus 3 have made an alarming discovery. A Tholian assembly intelligence operative surgically altered to appear human has been discovered. So far, their mission is unknown, providing two options. Either capture them now and prevent them from completing their mission, or wait to expose the whole Tholian assembly's intelligence network. Ooh. I think I want to wait and see. Oh, no, it's an embarrassment. Um. Losing track of the original targets has instead apprehended their apparent accomplices. Surprisingly, the pair are... In fact, agents of the police service also tracking the spot. Oh, that's an embarrassment. Oops. Well, could have been worse, I guess. But soon, I think we will go for the Alliance um, edition. And actually, I want to take a look here at these traditions. Oh, and that's the first one we can go for. Oh no, we did lose a pop. That's a shame. Diplomatic protocols. Unity plus three for diplomatic networking. Direct diplomacy. And... Uh, eminent diplomats. Oh, that would be nice as well. So, what is this? Um, the Yod aliens barely escaping a vicious attack by their forces. Seems they thought to seize our ship to interrogate our crew, probably with the aim of swinging further hostilities against us in their favor. Thankfully, they managed to escape uh, engage emergency uh, FTL before it was too late. That's a shame. So, science ship. Um, upgrade and go there. You can upgrade and explore. Um, you will upgrade and explore and you will be home in 86, so two years. The Antarans really Ships are just upgraded. going for it. Yeah, I mean, good good on you, because that just helps me. Evading hostile fleet. Alliance, you'd be very happy with a one. Hostile fleet, where are you? Hostile fleet's up there. That's fine. You've evaded already. Let's upgrade and upgrade. New research. Um, Off-world industrial... Oh, industrial subsidies. Uh, civilian fabricators. Go for that. As I, again, losing consumer goods. In fact, what we're going to do, I think, let's buy a ton of them and we will get rid of some deuterium finance even more maybe 5,000 minerals to get even more what I would like to do is do lots of colonizing so we open up the colonizing window go buy up oh, size let's send you and you are good for uh, minerals let's go for the Vulcans go with our kind of founding Races. Bad for food, good for engineering, not for habitability. Ooh, uh, source of dilithium. Let's go for you, and we'll go for the human one. 
North Star. Let's go for Tellarites. Paras 3, Andorians. Let's go for the Andorians. Terra Nova, um, humans. It was supposed to be a human colony anyway. Alpha Centauri A4, um, Andorians. Uh, which is also a good source of dilithium. Um, Alpha Centauri. You know, let's go by habitability now. Altair 4, let's go um, human. Altair 3 is will also be a human colony. Um, Tari, you will definitely be a. Oh, Benzite 1. Finnegan, this is where it becomes difficult because it's only 65. So I'll just go for the green ones for now. That will be the most useful. Upgraded. Uh, you are here in Breen. If we say upgrade, you cannot. Oh, because the Cardassians have come through. So, you know what? Just survey. If that's all you can do. Oh, leader's wed. Li Zheng gained the married trait. Um, gaining the following effects. Grand experience when their partner increases in skill. Very nice. So those two are now linked. An interesting concept. Um, you have upgraded as well. Very good. You could build something. Um, that would give us more jobs. You know what, let's do that, but I'm also going to go for city district because of amenities. Establish embassies. Yeah, we will establish embassies with the Klingons. I think that's really good. Um, on Pajem, recent luxury residences... Food synthesizer, Evading administrative hostile. office. Well, okay, we won't go for anything there then. And then here on Alora, nothing special here. What are the features? Max generator district increase. Um, let's go for. Um, and we're doing all right with the naval capacity, um, the naval academy, and our crew production right now. Oh, born hegemony. We could learn a lot from each other. Oh, starship lost while at warp. Ah, within our own space too. That's kind of annoying. Research Instead, uh, you know what? Let's go for the civilian industries there as well. New research. Let's go for the um, torpedo yield booster one. So let's look at our ships. We have the Emmet Frigate. We have all of these. Daedalus class, Heavy Escort, Saturn class, the NX Light Cruiser, and the Cardenas as, at the moment. Okay, so nothing that we should retire, I think. About to get those first set of colony ships. Research complete. Ooh. Um, a variant deflector shielding with faster regeneration rate but lower capacity. Or, no, you know what? Let's go for the regenerative shields. Definitely do that. Uh, new research. Let's go now for... Uh, you know what? Let's go for those regenerative shields. Uh, we lost a scientist. So, um, that was for field manipulation. Actually, we do have you, who's leading engineering research. Let's see if we now have a better engineer. And the answer is we do not, but we could hire you. You are the youngest and probably will live the longest. So let's go like that. Perfect. So, um, how is my construction ship doing? Oh, we have that trade station. So, produces um, five... Cost one la oh no, produces one latinum. Upkeep five energy. So, should we... Contact Station Administrator. What is it that you do? We may not have an operation as large as the one of the Federation Planet Starbase, but it still takes a lot of effort to keep a trading post such as ours running. My crew and I manage the operation, negotiating berthing uh, and transaction fees, and sourcing rare goods from across the sector. So we can purchase commodities. Purchase one of those. Hyperion Beetle Snuff. Oh, well, that might not be bad, actually. So this is good for exchanging. And exclusive products, none are available to purchase. Yeah, that's fine. Let's close the channel. 
Can you build another one? No, because we don't have... Oh, sorry. No, because we don't have enough. But here, subspace relay. Increase the data bandwidth available in, s in a star system. Provides a bonus to our research station output and administrative capacity. Oh, that's not bad. That's one we'll definitely use. Oh, we lost an envoy. Oh, and you are sitting here with... Nothing to do. Let's go like that. Colonization in progress. Colonization in progress? Oh, okay, that must have been what popped up here as well. So the envoys. Oh no, tradition available. Here we go. Let's go for the um alliance. Being able to form alliances because I definitely want excellent relations or an envoy and to improve relations. But I am improving relations, aren't I? <gasps> no, I'm not. We definitely need to do that. And then we're going to form an alliance. Oh, we need to figure out the various types. Uh, because that is not something I've ever done before. But I guess it's going to be an interstellar coalition. Because that's the only one that's available to us. Germany. Yeah, let's go like that. Um, new research. Let's go for the... Um, chip fire rate. Federation formed. Oh, we formed a new federation. That's perfect. So we've also met the Husnok ascendancy, and yeah, we love that. Can we invite two alliance? No, because the Antarians, Antarians say no. But the Akamarians, you're kind of interested. We need positive relations. So actually, let's improve by sending the one from... Well, I'll send you, because I'll retract this one. I don't think we'll need that one. Um, Klingons, you are receptive. Not bad. Offer association? Yeah, hell yeah. I will happily give you association status. And alliance proposal... Oh yeah, okay. That's already done. New research, and this is going to be the last thing. Let's go for the uh, light cruiser, I think. That will be good. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut here. So I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If so, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.